guys, it's Holly the Twister Sister back with another free balloon animal tutorial just for you. Today we're going to learn how to make a deluxe balloon dog. So stick around, check it out. Alright guys, so today I want to show you how to make a deluxe balloon dog. I've got two or three other balloon dog videos up on YouTube already which have done fairly well. But as you get more advanced and more experienced as a balloon artist, you'll find that it's beneficial to have multiple versions of some of your most popular, most requested balloons. So that way, if you really want to impress someone, you can bust out your deluxe version of your balloon animal. Or if you end up at a party that has 50 kids that was only supposed to have 20 kids, uh, then you can revert to your quick version of the same balloon animal. So today this is going to be the advanced deluxe version of a balloon dog and I hope that you guys like it. This deluxe balloon dog is going to take a few more balloons than your average balloon dog, but not too many more. Uh, you're going to need two 260s for the body. So I'll be using two blush 260s for the body of our dog. And then I've got another 260. I'll be using the mocha brown for the ears. Um, I've got a white here. You can just use a scrap. This is going to be for the eyes. I've got another scrap here. This is a black scrap, which I'll be using for the nose. And then a five inch round for the puppy dog tongue. So to get things started off, we're just going to take one of our blush 260s and I'm going to blow this up about six pumps. Let a little bit of air out of there so it's nice and soft, leaving that much of a tail. Go ahead and tie that. And we're going to begin this with three loops. So we're going to need one loop for the mouth and two cheeks. So I usually make the mouth a little bit larger. So I'm going to start with that one. So just fold your balloon over, grab it by the nozzle and twist, and then pull that nozzle through to lock it in place. So this is, I'm going to use this for his nose. And then I'm going to do two more loops that are a little bit smaller. These are going to be for the cheeks, which just really help to stabilize everything and keep everything in place. So we've got our three loops here, just like that. Now we're going to do four bubbles for the head of our puppy dog. And I'm going to try to keep these pretty short. Uh, so we've got enough balloon left to do the rest of our dog. So go ahead and make your first twist, fold your balloon down, twist it into his head. You're going to bring it up, squeezing your balloon out, and you're going to do the three bubble roll through like a bird body. So you roll that on through and then bring the rest of your balloon back down and twist that into the base of the head. Just like that. So we've got the rest of his our balloon hanging down here. It's going to make the chest and tail of our puppy dog. So put that aside for a second. Uh, let's go ahead and do the ears real quick before we do the rest of this. So go ahead and grab your whatever color you're going to be using for the ears. I'm using this mocha brown one here. And you can really get creative with the ears and do different things, change it up to make it into a different kind of dog. I'm just going to be doing real basic ears for this video. So the way I do the ears on this guy is I'm just going to start off with a small round bubble and make that into a pinch twist. And then I'm just going to do a simple loop nice and soft and just go ahead and wrap that around so we've got one loop now we're going to feed the rest of this balloon through the middle of our puppy dog head so take it in between our four bubbles right in the middle and i'm just going to push that tail through to get it started and once you got the tail through you can just pull your balloon right on through and sometimes it does want to get caught up in the top there so just be careful with it, go slow. And there's other ways to do this. You can make your two ears separate at first and then tie them together in the middle if that works easier for you. So once we've got this, we're just gonna make the other ear. So you're gonna do a small bubble and make that into a pinch twist and then do a loop to make the other ear. Try to make it about the same size as the first year, and then you can get rid of the rest of that, tie it off, and then I'm going to feed this tail around through the ear a couple times 
just to keep it all from coming untwisted. And then we're going to cut off our excess there. So mine got a little bunched up on top of his head, which is okay. All we need to do is separate them and pull them back down so that they're positioned right on the sides of his head. Not like right on top, not in the middle, but just kind of up towards the top. So let's go ahead and get his face above his cheeks again. So there you see the head of our deluxe puppy dog. And now we can go ahead and do the rest of his body. So I'm going to take my next blush 260 and blow this one up about the same amount, about six pumps and let a good amount of air out to make it nice and soft. Go ahead and tie that off. And I'm just going to connect this into the back of our head here between the two cheeks. Just wrap it around a couple times. And don't worry about this short one right for right now. We're just going to focus on the new one we just attached. So we're going to make two legs. So make them nice and short. You don't want to run out of balloon. So about three inches should do. And then make a about a one inch bubble. Make that a pinch twist. So it's like a big pinch twist. Do that again, another one inch bubble. Pinch twist. And then you're going to bring your balloon back up into his head for the second leg. So just make a twist and twist all that together. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to take our shorter balloon here, the one that's left over from his head, and we're going to bring that down. We're going to open his legs up and just kind of start to push it through, but you're not going to push it through all the way. You just want it showing a little bit as to be like his chest. So you should have your balloons coming out behind him like that. And we just see this little bit right here in between his legs. Okay. Now, you're going to bring both your balloons back behind him and just twist them together. So we've got a nice short straight back and then his stomach is kind of curved down from his chest. Okay, this remainder here is going to be his tail and now we just need to finish him off with his feet. So first, before I jump into the feet, I'm going to do two loops so that they kind of look like his back haunches kind of curved. So I'm going to take my balloon and do two small loops right by his tail and just position them on either side of his tail like that. And now with the rest of this, we're going to take this up one side, twist it into his feet and bring it back down the other side. And this will be kind of finish off his back legs. So go ahead and twist your balloon and then wrap it around the front legs. And you're going to take it back and you're probably going to be getting really close to running out of balloon on this. Do what you can and twist that into the back legs just like that. So now we've got our puppy dog sitting up. Now you might be wondering about this bit here <laughs> sticking out the back. If this is, if this was a smaller bubble, I would just leave it and it would just kind of look like a pinch twist. Um, but since it's a little bit bigger, uh, people are bound to wonder exactly what that is. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off carefully. All right. And now he doesn't have any weird bits sticking out of his back. <laughs> so there's our puppy dog body sitting down really cute. And the thing I love about this design is it will sit up on a table on its own which is an improvement over the other dog bodies that I've used in the past. They didn't really sit up that well on the table. I love things that will sit on their own, especially if you're doing restaurant work and then it can just sit on their table and watch them while they're eating. People love it. So let's go ahead and finish them off with a nose. So I'm going to take a black scrap and I usually have tons of these left over from penguins and whatnot. So just go ahead and get your black scrap and you just want to blow up the end of it just enough to have a nice small little puppy dog nose. Tie yourself a knot. And then you're going to get your five inch round. If you want to put a little puff of air in this to fill it out, you can do that. And then tie it directly onto the nose. And then we're just going to cut off the extra tails there 
so they're not sticking out anywhere funny. And then you're just going to take this with your tongue, feed it through the middle of the loop that we did for his mouth. Just have it sticking out there like that. Now, this is cute just like that. So you can draw the eyes on and be done with it. But I really like to add the eyes with a white balloon. And I'll show you how I do that next. So I'm just going to blow my white balloon up just enough to make two pinch twists. I don't want to do anything else with it. So I've got myself a small bubble big enough for two pinch twists. So I'm going to do that by twisting this in half, trying to get those bubbles as close to the same size as I can. And then I'm going to tie them together. I'm going to double knot here. And then I'm going to cut off the longer tail. So we've got this. And then I'm going to twist it in half to make the two pinch twists. So I've got my tail sticking out the back like that. This will be the front of his eyes. And you're just going to take this, grab your dog, and you're going to put your eyes right in the front here behind his nose. Take the tail of your balloon and thread it right through the middle of his head, out the back, pull it nice and tight. And then you can, can um, lock this in place by just feeding it down around his cheek. And let it go like that. And then you can position everything so he looks super cute. Just like that. How adorable is this? Okay. And now you can just draw on the whites of his eyes. Ta-da! All right, so there is our super adorable deluxe balloon dog. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. That's it. So it's not too difficult, but it's just like a hundred times cuter than any other normal balloon dog that most people are used to seeing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys attempt to make this deluxe balloon dog, please post your pictures on my Facebook page. The link for that is in the description below. And check out these pictures from last week's video. Y'all went crazy with that lizard. I was super impressed. Some of you guys are really good, like blew me away. I love the additions that some of you guys got a little creative. You added tongues and put your lizards and trees and that was really fun to see. So thank you guys so much for submitting those pictures. Keep them coming. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for this puppy dog. You can try it in different colors do different ears to make it a different breed of dog maybe, but I'll look forward to seeing your photos on my Facebook page. Also last week I mentioned a new series that I'm working on, on all things princess balloons. So that series is now up and available for purchase at thetwistersister.com. And uh, just go there, it should be the featured video on that page, so it's easy to find. Now the way this works is it is a series of videos, which means there's going to be more than one video in the series. So you can purchase the entire series for one low price of $35, or you can head over to thetwistersister.com, check it out, and just purchase the individual videos that you're most interested in learning. Now all of the videos have not been created yet. Uh, as of right now, I do have the first three filmed and the first two are up and available for viewing and purchasing. And I will be putting those out as fast as I can over the next few weeks. There should be about 12 to 13 videos total. I'm going to go over all the most popular princesses and how to make them. And you guys are definitely going to want to check these out because you can turn these princesses into anything. I'm not kidding. They work as headbands, bracelets, tabletop centerpieces, candy cups. You can even stick them on a stick and put them in a bag and they make really excellent gifts. So they're just possibilities are endless with these things. They're super cute and they have been field tested. I've been making these at birthday parties and busking and line work uh, for a few months now and 
I'm just in love with these princesses. So I hope that you will enjoy them as much as I did. Head on over again to thetwistersister.com. If you purchase this series now, you won't have to buy any of the additional videos that are gonna come out later. You will just instantly have access to each new video as it comes out. But if you wanna wait and just buy the video that you're most looking forward to, you can do that as well. All right, Spike here is tired of me talking so much, so he is telling me that it's time to wrap this up. He says, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe it if you wanna see more balloon related videos from Holly the Twister Sister. And hopefully, Holly will get to see you in next week's free balloon animal tutorial. Thanks guys, bye.